This innovative device works using a mobile app that's downloaded to smartphones or tablets and paired using Bluetooth technology, giving users point-to-point -point local control to dim their lights and set automated timed events. Have the following tools on hand, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, electrician's pliers, a wire stripper, electrical tape, a handheld voltage tester, and properly sized wire connectors. Warning, to avoid fire, shock, or death, be sure to turn off the power at the circuit breaker or fuse and test that power is off before wiring a device. Use a handheld voltage tester to confirm there is no power. This device is equipped with pigtail leads, which are short, flexible wires. Terminating them requires tying them together to the existing wiring coming out of the wall and capping them with wire connectors to secure them together. It's important to note that for electronic devices, correct wiring of the line and load must be followed. Always consult and follow the instructions and wiring diagrams provided with the product. In this example, there are two black wires, and you need to determine which one is the line or hot wire. To do this, turn the breaker on. Carefully use the tester to test each wire. The hot wire will be indicated by the voltage tester. Once identified, turn off the breaker to shut power. Test to ensure the power is off. Use a small piece of electrical tape to label the line or hot wire. The DDMX1 Decora Digital Bluetooth Dimmer requires a neutral wire to operate, which is usually a white wire. It also requires a copper ground connection. If there is not a neutral or ground wire present, consult an electrician. The ends of the wires on the device have been prepared so that a small piece of insulation can be easily removed and expose the correct amount of conductor needed for terminating. With your fingers, pull firmly on this insulation to remove the pre-stripped section. Next, twist the exposed stranded copper wiring in a clockwise direction in order to prepare it to be terminated. Twisting it clockwise helps make it easier to secure with a wire connector. Remove the insulation and twist the stranded copper wire for all wires you plan to terminate. Next, make sure that the ends of the wires from the wall box are straight and stripped approximately 5 eighths of an inch. If not, you may need to cut them. Hold firmly on the conductor coming out of the wall box together with the exposed conductor of the device's pigtail and twist in a clockwise direction. With the conductors twisted and mated together, insert them into a properly sized wire connector and twist the connector until the conductors bottom out inside and can't be twisted further. The wires are now terminated. Give the wires a tug to ensure they're firmly held in the wire connector. Dress the terminated wires with electrical tape to ensure stability before the device is installed in the wall box. Follow the same procedure for the remaining wires, including the green ground wire. This will be twisted with the bare copper or green wire coming out of the wall box. The device is now terminated. Gently bend the wires and push them into the wall box. Screw in the mounting screws in the wall box mounting holes. Then install the wall plate. It's important to test the device. Restore power at the circuit breaker. The status light on the dimmer will illuminate green. Press the top of the dimmer to turn the light on. Press the dim, bright bar up and down to raise and lower the light level. Depending on the type of bulb you're using, you may need to make some adjustments to the settings. Consult the instruction sheet for how to do this. To utilize the Bluetooth control features, be sure to download the app to your mobile device.